each passing moment till the ending of our days be filled to overflowing with our never-ending praise. Hallelujah. Seem to be so, man will surely. 
your neighbor and say this could get good before it's over with here tonight we came to church okay and Larry with that hallelujah at the very beginning that was just that was beautiful to get us started off get us to, it's good to have you here. we've been trying to do this for a long time by the way this is a Gaither Gatlin and Booth reunion they should put uh, but uh, yeah I told the sign man it was just Gaither and Gavin. Oh, you're. <laughs> Larry uh, uh, is a good friend of mine, been a good friend for a long time. I saw Lou Hildreth down here. Lou, stand up. Lou was. Give Lou a nice hand, okay? Oh, she's a sweetheart. <laughs> Lou had a label out in Texas where she took a chance on some unknown people like. Larry Gatlin and Steve and Rudy and all the Gatlin kids and Mark Lowry took a chance on you. You were just, yeah. a, kid. I was just a kid. And so. Uh, I'm no longer a kid. No. <laughs> she looks the same. I have aged. Yeah. She's, she's still beautiful, isn't she? Yeah. yeah so. Uh, she is. But, uh, beautiful. But so uh, we do this Thursday afternoon the last couple of years, and so I, I, I said, Larry, we have got to find a time where we can all be together. Because I've written so many songs with this character. Of course, he doesn't need anybody. He's written with everybody. Uh, down I in. didn't write, he touched me. <laughs> well, That's the one that bought the bus. <laughs> Of, yeah, you did write that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That one. All by yourself, too, right? And that was BG. And then b b before Gloria. Yeah, yeah. And then she showed up and everything changed. <laughs> you finally got some scriptural lyrics. <laughs> she is scriptural. Yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see where I'm. Oh, I know where I'm going to go. So we said. So the connection is this. When the Booth brothers first started, they, uh, I, when I first saw them, I said, man, that sounded like the Gatlins. Do you think, do you think they sound a lot like, uh, uh, like, there's nothing like that real close three-part harmony unless it would be real close four-part harmony. But anyway, uh, 
But, but at any rate, so there's that connection, and then the connection of our writing, and then to be honest with you, the vocal band is a combination of them and the Imperials and, and, and a bunch of groups in the past. And so I thought it would be, but to do this, we got to do the old standard quartet traditional tune. You all come up and, uh, and uh, you, we've all done different versions of this. It, this is going to be fun today because you don't have a clue as to the arrangements, Larry, but you're going to love it when, when, when we get going here. <laughs> We're all going to do this together, okay? It's going to be cool. Do we, hey, do we have mics? How many mics do we have up here? Okay, everybody else got a mic? Yeah, Bill. Everybody? Everybody's got a mic. All God's children got yeah. microphones. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You got to sing this song. Why don't you swing, swing down chair, stop and let me ride. Swing, swing down chair, stop and let me ride. Rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord. Saw an angel working on a chariot wheel. He wasn't so particular about a chariot wheel. He just wanted to see how the chariot feel. Jerry went up, bumping up and down that road. He was so particular about the bumping on that road. He just wanted to lay down his heavy load. Swing down, Jerry, stop and let me ride. Swing down, Jerry, stop and let me ride. Pretty soon, we're around the piano singing those kind of songs, and, and, and they're just fun to sing. How many of you re remember all the gold in California is in the banks? In some... Uh, some of you oh, I love uh, the Oak Ridge uh, Boys. They did that, didn't they? <laughs> So, so, some of you didn't spend all of your time in church when you were kids. They, uh, so we thought it, it wouldn't be fair to have the Gatlins here without singing a couple of their country hits. That, uh, uh, that, that are, are you good? How many people from Texas here? Okay. 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 We, we love Texas, and. Oh, yeah, me and David, we're from Texas. Yeah? Yeah, Tomball in Houston. Yeah. Houston or Tomball? Yeah, see, them too. <laughs> Rockwall. Where, where are you from, Hitler? Uh, we, 
we were born and raised out in the West Texas, out in the oil country. And uh, I, I tell you, Bill, I know you, you love to know stories about how things were written. We were in uh, Omaha, Nebraska, and the brothers went on to Cheyenne. We were going to do the Cheyenne Frontier Days. And then I had an interview to do, so I couldn't go. So I, long story short, it took me a while to get there. I rented a car in Denver to drive up to Cheyenne. And I decided to write a song about the Cheyenne Rodeo. It was like, Cheyenne means I'm one day closer to you. Cheyenne means the last day of the tour and we're through. I mean, it was kind of, uh, we were in Nashville, we were all kind of this country songwriter. We are kind of trying to get in touch with our, you know, inner Paul Simon, you know. Like a breeze <laughs> over. So, <laughs> Cheyenne means I'm one day closer to you. So I got to Cheyenne, I taught it to the band at Soundcheck that day, and Brother Steve, who doesn't normally say a lot, he said, Big Brother, that really stinks. <laughs> He said, we're going to be at the largest rodeo on the face of the earth tomorrow night in our home state of Texas. If you will put that in a 2-4 shuffle so some cowgirls girls can two-step with some cowboys, you might have some. It went from shine means I'm one day closer to you. It went to... One, two, three, yeah. Well, Houston... Houston means that I'm one day closer to you. Yeah, honey, Houston. Houston means the last day of the tour and we're through. Yeah, lady, you man. God in heaven above, no, I love what I do for the living, I really do. But Houston. Houston means that I'm one day closer to you. Well, now singing at the world's biggest rodeo show was a great time for me and the guys. Ah, but when I'm away from your honey, time always never fly. And sleeping all alone in that holiday hotel show makes a cowboy blue. But here I am in Houston and I'm one day closer. Well, Houston, Houston means that I'm one day closer to you. Yeah, honey, Houston, Houston means the last day of the tour at Yeah, you and God in heaven above. No, I love what I do for a living. Brother Bill, I really do. But Houston, Houston means that I'm one day closer to you. Turn this thing around, boy. Yeah, Houston, Houston means that I'm one day closer to you. Is that a band? Is that a great band? <laughs> what, what, okay, hey, you, you know what? We you couldn't do Houston without a steel guitar, right? And so Dustin Jenkins on a steel guitar. Is that great? Western swing stuff. Yeah, good. Dustin. This is fun. Yeah, that's. A that, that, that's like, is that the first time you played with them? That's the first time we played at Soundcheck today, but they, they learned it kind of this morning. Yeah. And they did a great job. Amazing. They really did. Yeah, amazing. You going to pay them? <laughs> <laughs> I learned it years ago. It just sounds like we learned it this morning, but that was what we did, yeah. We love you, Larry. You are welcome here. Absolutely. Okay, are, are you, uh, you going to do all the gold? You want to hear them do all the gold? Well, we know it. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I, again, there's a little story. I was stuck in a traffic jam in, uh, at the Hollywood Bowl in L.A., and in front of me was a 1958 Mercury station wagon with Oklahoma license plates, and there were kids in there and uh, pots and pans and boxes. You know, all they needed was Granny Clampett on top, you know what I mean? And it was the Jode family, Grapes of Wrath. I know, uh, you know, John Steinbeck, I know Glory loves it. And I, I talk to myself out loud a lot, and, uh, and then I answer. So I said to myself, I said, these poor folks from Oklahoma, these Okies, I mean, they think they're going to come out here to the land of milk and honey and get rich and famous. I said, they're going to find out all too quickly that all the gold in California is in a bank in the middle of Beverly Hills in somebody else's name. I took that Hertz rent-a-car slip. <laughs> all the gold in California. <laughs> and I went over to my meeting over in Burbank, and then I sat out in the Warner Brothers parking lot in eight minutes, and I wrote, All the gold. In California Is in a bank in the middle of the Beverly Hills It's somebody else's name So if you're dreaming About California It don't matter at all where you play for California's brand new game Trying to be a hero Winding up a zero Can scar man forever Right down to soul Living on the spotlight Can kill a man outright Cause everything that glitters Is not I tell you how our crazy field works. Larry lives right behind me there in Nashville. And, uh, and, and so I called him, what, two years ago? About two years ago. This is a true story. And I said, Larry, how are you doing? And he said, I am greatly blessed, high, highly favored, and imperfect, but forgiven child of God. I went, oh, my. That is fantastic. He said, we need to write a song. And we did. And, 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 and so we got together and we wrote a song and there was some other different kind of music. And I said, wait, 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 wait. To me, this sounds a lot like the, the other stuff we were doing, it wasn't working. I said, let's go back to all the gold. Yeah. And he said, boy, it got quiet in there. Yeah. I love that. It's just you and I. Yeah. He said, why don't we make it sit? Well, actually, we left it sit for about two weeks, and then he called me, and he said. This ain't working. He said, Larry, I, 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 the, uh, uh, the, uh, I, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Because, you see, 
my friend William is sort of the uh, a male Attila's of, <laughs> uh, you know, a country, a music, a gospel. So he said, I said, what? he said, I don't like it. I said, what's wrong with it? He said, the melody. He said, the melody's not right. I said, it's a great melody. I wrote it while you were in the bathroom. <laughs> he said, I think we ought to make it sound like kind of like all the gold in California. Because he wrote it to your song. Right. I said, we don't have to ask anybody's permission. No, 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 no. Let's do it. We never have asked anybody's For permission. <laughs> except Gloria and Janice. <laughs> That's all. So, so we did. So we came up. And so I want to hear the convention crowd say, I am greatly blessed. We're greatly blessed. That is pitiful, pitiful. <laughs> I want to hear a greatly blessed convention crowd. I am greatly blessed. Highly favored. And imperfect, and imperfect, but forgiven, but forgiven. child of God, <laughs> greatly blessed, highly favored, highly favored. It's a better song. <laughs> but forgiven, child of God, greatly blessed. Until you get it right, Mark. Come on. And highly favored, imperfect, but forgiven child of God. Greatly blessed. And highly favored, imperfect, but forgiven child of God. I'm standing.
Boy, you wrote our, our, half a song and it goes to number one, wasn't it number one or something. You wrote half a song. Yeah. Good Lord, I could write half. Well, that's a song. all you wrote of Mary. Did you know? That's <laughs> true. <laughs> if that much. I, I, I tell you what, he writes one song. Oh, yeah. And he becomes a specialist in gospel oh, songwriting. Well, you know, somebody has to be. Yeah. You know, when you write one like that, Bill, you won't have to write anymore either. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Woo. It's going to be good. Oh, yeah. You glad to have little Wes Hampton yes, here? Yes, we are. Time. Little Wes. Wes is the newest and the youngest. Yeah, and the cutest. And the, yeah. and the cutest member of yeah. the vocal band. I used to be the cutest. What did what, you say? I used to be. Look over here, Wes. <laughs> this is what you have to look forward to. <laughs> And it goes by fast, too. Life is like a roll of toilet paper. The closer you get to the end, the faster it goes. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? You kneel down right now and pray for forgiveness. Okay. <laughs> Write that down. Put it in your Bible, folks. <laughs> but we love Wes. Wes is married to a sweet little gal in Birmingham. Yep, sure they got four of the most beautiful children that you have ever, ever seen. And... Um, and, oh, uh, there, there they are. Which one's Wes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's little, but he's fertile. Look at that. My, my, my. <laughs> well, not anymore, but, but you know. <laughs> well, you're, I'm you're, just upset because you don't have, you show all these kids, these pretty little kids. What about me? Uh, okay. <laughs> I've you, got dogs. Where's my dogs? Show his dogs. Show, show his my, dogs. There, there's, yeah. yeah. Isn't he adorable? That's Hovey. Named him, there's Vestal. And here's Bill. That's before he puts his wig on. No, I, I tell you what, do you, you, any dog people here? I did not get it. I didn't get it until I was adopted by a mutt. And he showed up on my back porch, and then I found another one eating trash behind the Walmart and took him home. And then I adopted one, I bought one because I wanted to know somebody's birthday. I have fallen in love with these dogs, I'm telling you, and I found out they go to heaven too, y'all. Oh, come, come on, Mark. Yes, animals go, he's coming back on a white horse. <laughs> there are animals there. The lion will lay down with the... There are animals. Now, cats go to hell, but Mark. every... <laughs> I don't have no Bible. It's just a hunch. But, but I'm telling you, men, your wife and your dog, who do you think loves you the most? It's the dog. You step on a dog's tail, it'll turn around and lick your foot. Try that with Gloria. <laughs> What you do is you, what y'all need to do now, gentlemen, is to prove this fact. You go home, this, when you get home from the quartet convention, you take your wife and your dog, you stick them in the trunk of your car. Oh. Trust me, she won't want to do it, but tell her, submit. <laughs> and then you come back in one hour, you open that trunk and you see who's glad to see you. <laughs> it won't be the little woman. <laughs> Sit down, sit down. That's all. All right. You had enough? I got more if you need it. In this world, we have our troubles. Are you glad to see Michael? Yeah. There's your time. Some sometimes do. Hey, Michael. About the
David Phelps. could do it like that. Uh, uh. <laughs> you don't have to. Is that incredible? Is that incredible? Yeah. yeah. 
Jimmy, Ronnie, and Michael, I want you to, uh, these three guys, I know you already love them. I don't have to, I don't. We love them. They're on, they're on our label. Cracker Barrel loves you guys. They, uh, by the way, anytime you get a chance, stop by Cracker Barrel. They've been so good to us. I, and, uh, but, uh, uh, what? Nothing. No, nothing. Uh, uh, you, <laughs> I just think about Cracker Barrel and I'm hungry. <laughs> what were you thinking, David? <laughs> <laughs> what was going through your mind now? I actually was thinking about Larry singing Houston yeah. earlier. Yeah. I used to sneak away from my Baptist college and take my wife two step into that song. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to hell! <laughs> we'll be just like this. <laughs> Let's see, where were we? Louisville. Cracker Barrel. Louisville. Cracker Barrel, yeah. Thank God for Cracker Barrel. <laughs> hey, um, but, but, but they did this on one of our, one of our on him vi video, didn't they? Uh -huh. It was wonderful. It's an old Albert Bromley song that they took and just put the booth touch to it. It's yeah. beautiful. It's it was the uh, booth touch inspired by the Gatlins. Inspired by the Gatlin <laughs> Brothers sound. Soon we'll come to the end of life's journey and perhaps we'll Struggle through this world and this ride. 
that's as pretty as it comes. Hey, hey stay here. Stay here. That's as pretty as it comes. Now, the reason these afternoon things are so good is we can, we can do stuff we don't normally do, can't take the time to do in the evening concerts. So you'll, you'll get to know how some of this stuff happens. This is a true story. Um, so Maybe. far it ain't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, uh, you had this on tape, though, don't you? You, 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 would you rather have me do, do it on tape, or, 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 or would you rather have... have <laughs> <laughs> this, this is so much more fun with you doing oh, so. Oh, 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 yeah. okay. <laughs> what are you uh, trying to uh, uh, say, uh, Nelson? <laughs> yeah. See, where was I? Louisville. Louisville. Yeah, well, I know I'm in Louisville. Hey, Bill. <laughs> what? Uh, the first time Mel Tillis was on the Mike Douglas show, our dear friend Jimmy Dean had him the first time he was on national TV. And Mike Douglas said, uh, Mel, said that wonderful song, Detroit City. He said, you knew it was going to be a hit. Why didn't you record it yourself? You gave it to Tom Jones. And Mel said, Hoss, I said it has a, a talking a part in the middle. It would have took a record uh, this big. <laughs> 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 tell him about the hair thing, you know, as you were telling him about, about the guy with his hair. Oh, well, there was a fella who decided that he wanted to be a little more stylish. He had parted his hair kind of down the middle, kind of mine swooped it back a little bit like that. Well, he decided he'd do it the other way. He'd parted it across here and put it back like that. And he liked it, it, what he saw in the mirror. But after three or four days, he had to, he stopped doing it because he got tired of people whispering in his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we did a little thing in our homecoming magazine and uh, honoring, we well, always do a hall of honor. We honored Henry Slaughter. And typical Henry, Henry's probably 86, 87 now in great health. He writes me a note, say, Bill, thank you so much for the wonderful article. I didn't deserve that. I didn't do that much. I wrote a couple songs, played in the band, sang in the choir. <laughs> now, you don't say that to songwriters, okay? <laughs> so I called my buddy, Larry. Said, Larry, we, got, we call those hooks. You got to hook a song on something. I played in the band. Wrote a couple songs, sang in a choir. Think we could do, do something out of it. So we did it and gave it to these characters, and they have taken it all over the country. You want to hear them do it? Let's do it. I played in the band. Here we go. the biggest, hottest thing in town. Yes, I'm just a simple man with a simple desire to play in the band. Write a few songs. Lord, I want to sing in the choir. I played in the band. That's all right. I sang in the choir. Say it.
This old Pentecostal boy, I mean. <laughs> you boys are wonderful. You, for your kind words for the Gatlin brothers, let me tell you something. I've had the greatest two partners. They're not just my brothers. They're my best friends. They're not backup singers. They're the Gatlin sound. I know the Booth boys feel the same way about that. Thank you for your kind words. You're marvelous. We love you. And thank you for letting me help you write that song. What little I did. What do you say? What the Booth Brothers on there now? Yeah, great hand. We finally got the Booth Brothers up on the sign. That makes me feel better. That makes me feel better. My name's still first, but that still makes me. I, I don't know why I said that. I I didn't really. Know. I, I didn't really mean to say that. I I, I, I did. I don't even know what I'm doing up here, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> yes, never, we, know. we know. It's we never know. stopped me so far not knowing what. Not knowing what. One more stint, though, and it'll be my name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just one more little heart flutter, and I'll own the whole thing. <laughs> hey, I think come up here. Uh, th this oh, is. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. While, while we're honoring Larry's writing here this afternoon, here is a tune that he wrote all by himself. I didn't have anything to do with, do with, do, do with this one. The Isaacs are in the house. You little stinkers. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know they were coming. Hey, Benji. Benji. And I, you're going to love this, Larry. You're Excuse gonna... me, I'm going to hug your name. Hey. <laughs> There's a he. That's flowing down from a higher place. Oh, it's a healing stream where heartaches drown in that healing stream of love. So What I'm 
speaking of it was in that stream that my heart aches drowned in that healing stream of love so
through it all. Sing it. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, sing it. Trust me, trust me, hard times, trials will always lead you to trust, and that is good. You can depend on it. You can take it to the bank. Through it all, sing it. Through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I love it. I've learned it. I've learned to trust Oh, 
I don't know where it is, but I pray I find it soon. Nothing else will ever set me free. Much too small to see. If I have the courage to believe, I'll find the one who left it here for.
sing the chorus and let, let it begin. Go, go. Let Another Larry Gatlin song. Is that sweet? Hey, Larry, come get your guitar and do help me, okay? Uh, golly, this is this is uh, this is good, yeah. Isn't it sweet? English major. Good. Yeah. Uh, this is was was this one of the first uh, uh, gospel tunes that you put on a country uh, project, right? Uh, we did. Uh, I was uh, I was sitting in the floor of Dottie West bus or tour bus, and the people in Nashville had told me I was going to be a star, and I'd been in Nashville six months. It hadn't happened. I was pretty torqued off about it, too, you know. I've been there 25 years. It hadn't happened. So <laughs> well, let's trade Bill Foles, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Is this, can I have a... I tell you, you Booth boys are going to... I'm telling you, you're going to make a Pentecostal revival break out here in a minute. And all of them, what glorious... You know, it's entertaining, I know that, but the blessing... The blessing that comes. I'm, I'm up to this. But anyway, I was sitting in Dottie's bus. And um, I wrote this little song. Can I have a little bit of my guitar, please, sir? I'm going to play really good. It's uh, one of the great blessings of my life. Bill and I have really... Uh, God has blessed our friendship. Uh, we go walking over... Belmont over by uh, our apartment where Janice and I live and when J Janice and I were just thinking about moving back to Nashville, Bill and Gloria very graciously uh, let us stay in their apartment uh, Bill said just pay the water and the uh, utilities, yeah Bill I got it okay <clears throat> but I, uh, I wrote this song and you know you never know what uh, something you sing and, and look folks you don't have to be up here. It's not just about us being up here. That's what God chose for us. And I don't know what he chose for you. You can't imagine the impact during your normal daily lives that you have on your fellow human beings. I was in, the, Stephen Rudy and I were in Montreal one night. And we were doing a concert and a lady talked her way backstage. And uh, she just ordered the security guard to let her through and uh, she said came to my dressing room knocked on the door said, said did you write a song called help me and I said yes ma'am I did she said they sang it at my two month old daughter's funeral and it got me through it I didn't write this song I just copied it down that was my part so just because we get to do this 
in front of hundreds or thousands or whatever people we do. It's not just about us being stars and being up here. It's about you and the influence that you have. So don't forget that, okay? Lord, help me walk another mile, just one more. I'm tired of walking all alone. Lord, help me smile, another smile, just one more smile. I know I just can't make it on my own. I never thought I needed help before. I thought that I could do things all by myself. But now I know I just can't take it anymore. With a humble heart on bent knees, I'm begging you, please. From your golden throne to me, to Lord in me. I need to feel the touch of your tender hand. Remove the chains of darkness and let me see, Lord, let me see. Just where I fit into your master plan. I never thought I needed help before. I thought that I could get by. Can you please for him? With a humble heart on bent knees, I'm begging you please for him. Thank you.
chains of sin I repine. Jesus, the glorious emancipator, now and forever.
Hey, uh, what? Uh, Greg Ritchie's on the drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin Williams on, on the guitar, and, and Matthew Holt. Hey, uh, quickly, let me tell them that, that we have the homecoming Bible out there, and Claude Hopper wanted me to make sure that he, that I tell you, he also has at his table, too, and there are several tables out there that has, that has a Bible. Don't, don't get excited. I didn't write any new verses or get into it. Yeah, but you, you knew all the original guys who did. did you, you, you knew all that. And this is, this is lovely, and it is out there at several of the artist tables. It's a new King James Version. New King James. It's got King all James. the Verilies and everything in there. It's all, and, it's all and, good. And, and uh, many of the homecoming artists have, have uh, written devotions. It is truly a wonderful devotional Bible, and you need to pick it up. And then let's tell them about the N, is this yeah. the NQC special. Uh, it might as well be. You know, uh, I'll tell you what, we're calling this the, uh, uh, the Gatlin and Gatlin and Gatlin special now. I don't know, Larry arranged that, but, but this, is, uh, this has the vocal band in here, the Gatlin brothers and the Booth brothers. It's all in there. And there are four DVDs and four CDs, Bill, for $60. Okay? So call it what you want to. NQC special is good enough. You've got to ask for that, really, because we've never done this before. 
Last week it was the Beaumont, Texas special. But anyway, uh, <laughs> it's a $90 value. Rudy's, Rudy's in here, $60. $60, yeah, I sold one already. Go, go pick them up, folks. Can't get this at Cracker Barrel. All right, thank you. Oh, dear. <laughs> that didn't pan out like I thought it would. <laughs> He's been on the road a long yeah, you, time. Hey, and, and, and Mark, Mark's got a brand new project out here. And Mark, you got to tell him about it and sing, and right. sing one song for the bird. Well, it's a, you know, I, thank you. I grew up singing. I grew up hearing the singing Rambos and the Goodmans, but also I lo Mama taught me to love Nat King Cole. Unforgettable. That's what you are. And Johnny Mathis, unforgettable. Uh, though near. Anyway, so I had a bucket list project, and I made a CD of all those great songs Charlotte Ritchie sang with me, Joyce, and, and, but, and the Booth Brothers sang, and Bill, you're singing bass. I did, I, I did. On, uh, and Michael wasn't, he's, well, Michael sang on What a Wonderful World. Anyway, what you guys need to do now, you go buy that CD today, and you go, when you go home from court, after you get your wife out of the trunk of your car, you put that CD on the CD player, all right? Tell you, man, this is romantical. <laughs> and then you turn on a candle. <laughs> and then you dim the lights. The older you are, the more you dim them. <laughs> Some of y'all just need to leave the light out. I mean, <laughs> don't even mess with a candle. Anyway, this is an old Mills Brothers song. Y'all ready? Hit it. Come on, Bill. Maybe I'm right and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm weak and maybe I'm strong. But nevertheless, I'm in love with you. Not you. <laughs> not, not you. Maybe I'll win and maybe I'll lose. Maybe I'm in for crying the blues. But nevertheless, I'm in love. With you Somehow I know at a glance The terrible chances I'm taking Fine at the start But left with a heart that is breaking I'll live a life of regret And maybe I'll give much more than I get But nevertheless, I'm in love with you Come on, men, put your arm around your wife Give her a little kiss on the cheek Somehow I know at a no tongue when the terrible chance I'm taking right at the start, but left with a heart that is breaking. Maybe I'll live a life of regret and maybe. I'll give much more than I can, but nevertheless, I'm in love with you. Oh, oh, oh but nevertheless, I'm in love. I'm in
Donnie and Reva wrote this and we put it on our last project. We've been singing it all around the country this last year. One of the best messages. I, I do love to hear this old boy sing. He can, he, he's a great singer. Whether it's a Mills Brothers or, or a Rambo tune. This is written by Reba, the daughter. It's, it's a wonderful song. Isn't it? I can see her now, her weathered skin, old straw hat and crooked grin. And she said, child, let's make this garden grow. Let's till the soil and pull some weeds. And here's your bag of precious seed Cause Grandma's got a secret You should know You always reap exactly what you sow So mercy So So kindness, so fair. Words are like water sprinkled with love. You will harvest all your hearts been dreaming of. So mercy. We knelt right there, she took my hand That patch of dirt was holy land And she said, child, I learned this long ago You can bless or curse, you can live or die You choose the crop you want in life Now that's the greatest secret Grandma knows you always reap exactly what you sow. So mercy, so grace, so. are like water sprinkled with love you'll harvest all your hearts been dreaming of cause one day God forbid you act a fool and fall down hard Cause life is cruel If you've ever reached to help a friend The hand you held might lift you up again What goes around comes back around, you know Oh, you'll always reap what you saw. Harvest all your hearts been dreaming of. You will harvest all your hearts been dreaming of. So mercy, so mercy, so great. 
and kindness, so Steve, Rudy, Larry, Michael, Jimmy, and Ronnie, you bless us by being here. We didn't get to all of the songs that we wrote. We sat down last night and said, how many of these can we get through? There's always next year. Oh, this. Next <laughs> week. <laughs> Or next week, or next month. Or How about tomorrow night? <laughs> uh, it's been a sweet reunion. Not a reunion, because we're, we're together a lot anyway. And, uh, you know, Clark called me and said, why do you want to do this year? I said, you may think this is crazy, but I want my buddy, Larry, Steve, and Rudy to come in, and let's just have a sweet time, because we all love lyrics. So speaking of lyrics... That sweet little lady that I've lived with now for 50 years wrote this lyric to, I think, one of the greatest pieces. I didn't write the music to this, and neither did Larry. This is written by Sibelius. One of the greatest lyrics of all time. And uh, let's leave here this afternoon trying to live this out to its fullest, okay?
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Greatly blessed. Thank God.